Hello Rochdale fans, hello subscribers, hello to anyone new that might stumble across uh, today's video. It's match day 12, so that means at half time tonight, it will be one quarter of the way through the season. It's under the lights at Spotland, it's on TV, TNT Sports, formerly BT Sports, 8 o'clock kickoff. Let's get this one underway against the league leaders Chesterfield up the Dale. Well, a quick one before I do talk about tonight's opponents. Uh, I just want to mention where I've been for the last four games. I've not uh, been watched Rochdale since we lost to Halifax about three weeks ago. Uh, one reason for that is basically I got a new job and I've been working Saturday, so I've not been able to do it. Uh, let's talk about those four games. There was a 1-1 draw against Kidderminster. Not good enough in my opinion. We should be winning that game. There was also, who else did we play? Boreham Wood, I actually watched that game because it was on a Tuesday night, last, last Tuesday I think. Uh, we scored and immediately they went down the other end and scored and it changed the game completely. That also finished a draw. I was in work for the Barnet game which obviously turned out to be the game of the season where we won 4-2. Typically I missed that and I couldn't vlog it for you. That's the only home game I've missed. And also at weekend we turned it around against Dorking. I was at work. It was a long way to go anyway, so I don't think I would have been going to that regardless. Uh, two last-minute goals, one from Ebank Landell in the 90th minute and Ian Henderson in the 95th minute turned a 1-0. Sureon nailed on defeat into a 2-1 win and it's about time Rochdale get that sort of a good luck. So I'm thankful we actually, we've actually we bagged the points in the last four games that I've missed. So is that an omen? Should I keep missing more games? So we actually pick up points. We're unbeaten in the last four, everyone. There's another team that are obviously unbeaten in the last four. Well, extend that to the last six, and that's tonight's opponent, Chesterfield, who are leading the league. They've won the last six games, um, so they're absolutely flying. They've only dropped five points all season. They're currently top of the league. I'm just having a look at the league table here now. 28 points. They're five points clear at the top. We're on 18 points, just hanging on to that last uh, playoff spot. Now, at the start of the season, if you said Rochdale finished seventh and get into those... Um, weird sort of playoffs that they've got in the conference in the non-league I would have snatched your, I would snatch your hand off I would have took it so at the moment we're on course for getting that Chesterfield they're going to win the league it's, it's, there's no question about it they're going to fly it they're going to absolutely piss the league they'll probably go up by about at least 15-20 points I think I hope I'm wrong I hope we can catch them somehow but I don't think that's going to happen so for Rochdale's target is to get in the playoffs ideally in second or third place though so you play one less game and you get home advantage in, like I said, the dodgy layout of the playoffs. Uh, so that's the league table for now. I mentioned I'd talk about the league table after 10 games. Well, this will be 12 games. It's been it's been 11 games. Um, hopefully we can catch Chesterfield, but I think you guys, you guys are going to piss it. Last little clip for the opening, everyone. So I've just had a look through our previous encounters. The last 10 games, we've not played them since 2017 in a 3-1 win, um, three goals in the first half in that one as well, but that's when Rochdale were a good team and a totally complete different team, that's when we were fighting for promotion in League One. Seems like a fucking lifetime ago to be honest. But um, in our last ten games we've won five, lost three and drawn two. I've checked as well, Ian Henderson seems to love a fucking goal against Chesterfield. He scored eight goals on seven different occasions in those last uh, 10 games, so 7 separate games he has scored against Chesterfield so, should we go in for a prediction? No, I'll leave the prediction for now because I wanted to mention something Chesterfield have also scored in every single game this season but they've only kept one clean sheet all season as well, so they they concede a lot of goals as well as scoring a lot of goals but they do concede, so let's go for the prediction now Ian Anderson to score gotta be, after what I've just said um, but I don't think we're going to have enough for them tonight I think they're going to have too much for us and I'm going to go with a 2-1 defeat and fingers crossed I'm completely wrong I will gladly take a draw tonight but a win would be um, a very good win if we can manage it anyway, hours time now I've got to uh, burn before Gary comes and picks me up he's going to pick me up then he's picking Will up then we're getting to the ground Work have given me the day off tomorrow, so I was going to stay sober for the first ever game ever. Uh, but that means now I can have a few beers and uh, here's what I prepared earlier. 
It wouldn't be a Roxdale game without one, would it, boys? Up the dale, let's get cracking. Changed my mind from Gary picking me up from my house. I've had a beer with my friend now, so he's going to pick me up from Will's house, where I'm nearly at now. One mention, I'll be able to make the safe end game at weekend. I'm off the following weekend. Do I go to Maidenhead on the train, on my own? Can I justify spending a hundred pound on a train ticket? Uh, he, he was trying to speed, but he got cut off by someone else, wasn't he, the dickhead? Do I do it? You know them vlogs when I go on my own can be a bit, uh, a bit of carnage. I know how to make my own fun, everyone. Anyway, let's get into Will's house now, because I need to uh, use his toilet. Can I use your toilet, please? Uh, yes, you can. <laughs> Standard piece. This is what happened at Oxford, <laughs> and I got denied. <laughs> yeah, get out. <laughs> I, I, need, I really need a piss. Taxi driver, taxi driver. Uh, what do you think tonight, Mr. Taxi Driver? Well, if we get a draw, I'll be really happy. We've all said, we've all said that yeah. now, then. Will said it a minute ago yeah. off camera. Guys, yeah. can you pull over? I need a wee, mate. Sorry. Yeah. <laughs> Okay. Yeah, yeah, right. <laughs> can, can I have a beer, Gaz? No. <laughs> I'm dying for a cigarette, you know. No, toilet break. <laughs> toilet break, yeah. Oh, yeah. That's it, they're never travelling again. Never again. I've heard Pete and Pat are not coming, Will told me. Oh, yeah, God, I've seen yeah. them today. Because they're poorly. Well, how, how long were you with them, Gaz? Yes? Uh, I've been with them about an hour. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh, for yeah. fuck's sake, we're all dead, everyone, we're dead. <laughs> uh, our taxi driver on the way up here, Stanley Taxis, has got a top... <laughs> Top, top, top story for us. Right. Off you go. Okay, um, speaking to a source who knows uh, an ex star here who's at Brentford now. Don't know who that's going to be. Right. Apparently he's quite haunted. Okay. But he's making the first team. He has a friend down in London. Ooh, friend. A friend. Romeo Beckham. Oh, aye. Okay. So, you get the, um, you get the weekend off, right? It. And it's Romeo's 21st birthday. There's no way you can put this on the floor. I already know. It's Romeo's 21st birthday. All right. Romeo says, come to my birthday, we're talking Spice Girls and Beckham, and it's going to be fun. It's going to be a posh do. It's going to be a posh do. Right, with lots of, lots of ladies. Yeah. Gentlemen, if you want them, of Whatever you need. What? Our hero decided to come home to mummy. Oh, Jesus Christ. Well, that's not our fault. Uh, uh, well, I, I'm, I'm still wondering who the fucking player is. How many players have we sent to Brentford? To Brentford? <laughs> I'm scratching my head, everyone. He's only on the bench now. He's on the first team bench for Brentford. If you look, he's tonight, he'll be on the bench. Uh, oh, hang on. Was he a former youth team player? Yeah, and he, he played for us last season. He passed end all the ball for a record breaker. Right, yes, I know exactly who he is, yes. Oh, great knowledge, Pete. Great and now I do, now I do. Yeah. And he's homesick? Fucking fanny. I'm glad they fucking got rid of him then. <laughs> Dickhead. Right, I'll tell you what. There's two people sat next to me, either side of me. They've both been, they've both been to Egypt, this one countless times, and never seen a pyramid. What? Why? What the fuck? You put all inclusive? I want beer the food. Yeah, but you can still look at a pyramid. You don't have to pay. You don't have to pay for the tour. Yeah, you do. Two hundred and fifty-seven no, quid. No, Why? From Sham, right? And you need a twenty-five pound visa. Look up. Yeah, just, just use your eyes, and it's there. It's like a triangle thing in the fucking middle of the desert. Hang on. Hang on. I didn't mind when it was tourists. <laughs> I went to Egypt when there was tourists. <laughs> Uh, but but we, we need to we need to find the fatties, the Sphinx. Or Sam called the Sphinx. The, the Sphincter needs to know did Napoleon blow its nose off? I think we need facts. Facts through my vlogs. There, he's in a He's in a He's in it. He's seen it. He's seen it. <laughs> Don't get me sneezing. No, I won't. Look at this now. We got. Seven minutes. Seven minutes is plenty of time, isn't it? Plenty. I've not had a prediction yet, Will. Uh, two two. Two two. Who's you? Better not be COVID, Pete. <laughs> you fucking dare give me COVID. That's why Pete and Pat are not here, innit? We've mentioned it. 
Gary's on phone, ordering next taxi taxi journey home that. <laughs> oh toilet. Alright, the game's about to kick off everyone. Gotta go and find my seat now. They've brought about I'd say about five hundred maybe. Which is alright considering it's on telly, but let's get up to my seat. It's already early days, but the pressing. It's a good tackle, it's a Rossell free kick that. We're only two minutes in, but it's already a bit end to end this. We could be in for a, a cracker tonight. Oh! Just after my last game, we're only three and a half minutes in. That was a brilliant save, but luckily, I, I thought he was going to take the player down, and that would have been a red card. It's a good save in the end. I'll keep it. Yeah, it's a corner. I, I'll keep it rolling for the corner because you know what happens when the corners come in, Will. Oh, he's hit the bar! It's another corner, so he must have touched. Yeah, he's a crossbar, man! The, re the resulting corner. Oh, come on. It's been all action so far. Oh, he's won it. Straight out. Playing wide. Get rid of it! Go on, go on! Ah, oh, almost. Oh, that's dirty. That's a yellow card as well. Fucking hell! It's one nil. He's crossed it in just after all the play I was talking about. Was six minutes in. He's hit post, post, and gone in. Keep, couldn't keep it out. And I tell you what, after six minutes, I think they deserve it. <laughs> I think they even deserve it after six minutes. We might struggle tonight. This could be a rout if it carries on. We just couldn't clear it. 1 0 Chesterfield. We said the nice goal of Kane. Dale, Dale, Dale. It was, it was a lovely ball right through the fucking, like a knife through butter through the middle. And he slotted it under the keeper, I think. I'm not sure. But it's uh, Kyrie on Cairo Mitchell for less than 15 minutes in and it's 1-1. One, one. What a game! Right, Adam Clayton's just got the ball here. He won the ball, he did, he did lunge in like Gary just said, he did lunge in but he got the ball cleanly and there is a free kick on the edge of the box and we all know what happens fucking here, don't we? Well, we all know what happens here. We're almost halfway through the half, it's been frantic. It's been really, out. really good watch. Oh, good punch, good punch. Get rid of it. Oh, it's going further back. Back to the keeper, that'll do, that'll do. It's a short corner, Gary's got bog. I've already been, he's gonna miss a goal, isn't he? Oh no. Oh no. What did I say, Will? <laughs> it's a corner, obviously we're gonna obviously we were gonna fucking score. You've gotta be joking, man. Fuck's sake. <laughs> Nearly 35 minutes gone. Rochdale don't normally do anything from corners. But let's see if we can do something from a corner ourselves for a change. I doubt it. I'll be happy to win 2 1 down at half time, me. Oh, it's a short corner. Oh, it's gone wide. It's another corner. It's another corner. They've done the sa same routine again. We all know what that means. Well. Maybe the building this one up, I don't know. It's nearly time for another pint anyway. Yeah. He's offside, no? Well, oh, it's in Molden's hands. I'd say they deserve to be 2 1 up at half time. There was a little flurry in the box, and I think that calls for half time. Pint. 
Not for me, thank you. I'm driving. William. Taxis. Pint for, pint for me and Will. Let's go down. Oh, thank, thank fuck he cut that out. Anyway, let's see if it's two on half time. We'll be all right. It's time for the half time analysis. Let's turn it round. Half time analysis, sir. We're playing the, by far the best team in the league. It'll, they'll just go on and win the league by like 20, 30 points. But they're two free headers. They look good though, don't they? Yeah, they're fantastic. They're a football league quality side. They're, they're, they're playing it wide as well and absolutely ripping it up. But, so much pressure on us from the start. But, like our goal, um, they were splitting splitting two with one pass. Yeah. They look susceptible at the back. We're still in the game. Oh. They need to get Tyree Sinclair in a bit more. Yeah. That's it. What do you think, uh, taxi driver? <laughs> oh, he's been, on, he's been on telly already. Oh, he's been on telly. Yeah. It weren't wide enough though, apparently. Uh, I've <laughs> been up. Um, oh. I honestly think they will tighten up on what we're doing, which is trying to play through the middle and playing for our keeper. Yeah. That's my worry. If they get tight on our keeper, it's going to get something off. But we're playing well. We're, we're doing all right. Yeah. They certainly have been the best team so far in the league, but I think second half they're going to try, try and keep possession, Gary. They're going to slow it down, keep possession, because they, they're way better than us. We're still in it. We're, we're, just, in we're it. just in it for the chances that you might create. But 2-1's um, yeah. a valid result at half-time, I'd say. Yeah? We deserve to be losing at half-time. Just about. Well, no. Well, they're a good team. Well, Will, let's see how this second half gets on, eh? Look at him. He's tired from all his jogging. Climbing steps then. Look at him jog. Look at him go. <laughs> There's been a long, longish stoppage in play because Cameron John's gone down as he Sinclair laid him through with a great ball. Could have got it in the box, but he's pulled up. And uh, it's all a bit of nothing at the moment. Subs are going to come on. 57 minutes. This is at least gone on for two or three minutes now. So we'll see. You only get three subs in non league, not five as well. So. We seem to be waking up a little bit in this second half. It's going to be a corner. I'm going to cut it before the corner, but Ty, Ty, um, Cairo Mitchell had one in the middle there. It will cut back on him over the bar, but let's have a look at the, the corner. No, I will keep it playing. Fuck it. In the corner, Is that a corner? In the corner. Oh, right. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. I'll get you. Oh, it's a short one. I don't like short corners. Oh, they've cleared it. Oh, they got lucky with that. They got lucky with that. Now they're going to break. Let's keep the break running. Wouldn't surprise me if they got fucking free one up. No, they're going to play it back as well. But I'm bored now. Corner took there was 72 minutes in, 73, but there's going to be at least seven, eight, maybe even nine at stoppages because it's been a long time down. Oh, what's he doing now? Stop making this referee! He's trying to fuck it. He knows he's on telly, he's just annoying people. He knows he's on TV, that's what it is. The referee's a fucking dub. Shoot! Oh, it's a good header away, actually, to be fair. Well, boys, we, with 15 minutes to go, plus whatever's added on, is there going to be a chance in this to get back in it? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Are we sure? Are we sure? There's going to be a chance on the second one. Is the referee dodging? No, the poor standard referees in this league. Yeah, but we're stuck with them. Yeah. We're stuck with them. We'll see. I'm going for a piss now, Will. Oh, nice one. I'm going for the second half piss. We've got seven the playoffs, by the way. We're in the 80th minute. We'll go back in. We'll get a 2 2 draw here. What do you think? So I'm going to go to the toilet. I was giving him a yellow. Did he not kick out at him there as well? He's giving a yellow. He's got to go off. He's got to go. Come on, ref. Behave yourself. It's a free kick at the edge of the box in. To nearly the 90th minute, yellow card again. 
Well, if we can that, Gary. Fucking stamps on him. He stamped on him. Big cunt come over and fucking intimidated the ref. Ah. The ref knows he's on telly. I thought he would have given the red there, thinking, oh, I'm on telly, let's give a red. But he only, he he only gave the yellow because he knows he's on telly and he can't be scrutinised yeah. for the red. Yeah. This guy's a fucking tosser. Referee, you don't know what you're doing, you prick. Anyway, free kick's coming in. 87th minute. 89th minute, sorry. There's got to be about 10 minutes added on. Five minutes any time on, it should be at least double that. At least eight or nine. I don't know what they're playing at. Go on, Tick Claire. Go on. Watch out! These officials are shit. Shit. What are they playing at? I've never known anything fucking like it. The officials have been so biased in this second half, particularly. I'm not saying Chesterfield deserved to anything less than winning because they've been great. But all I'm saying is, now the, we're in the 92nd minute and the linesman's injured all of a sudden. Mm. Oh, I'm injured. So now they're switching officials in the 92nd minute when they've only put five on anyway, when it should have been ten, and now it might be ten. This is fucking stupid. We're in the 97th minute now, but there has been a stoppage, so we've probably got one minute left. One minute. We're going to lose this game. The second half's been a very different to the first half. I fucking told him what you were doing. Come on, this is the last chance saloon. Corner ball! Why? It's a corner ball! He's not even looking at the foot. This referee's a knobhead. That's it, game over. That's it, we're coming out, it's full time. Um, my prediction was right, it was 2-1 uh, to Chesterfield. I got it right, Will. Can you give a better prediction next time? Like... Well, well, what did we expect? They were the best yeah. team we've no, seen so far this season. Yeah, by result. far. There was some frustrating elements of the game and they, you know, the other stuff near the end. But... They were by, they're going to piss the league. Yeah. I said, I said at the start of the video, before even seeing them play, that I thought they pissed the league. The football league quality side yeah. stuck in this division. So... In the second half, though, they were, it was very even, second half. Uh, but we, but did, the, did, we didn't did create enough. We did did they, do, sit back? they did a bit. We didn't do it. I thought they did. Near, like, we didn't get Sinclair on the ball. No. At all, really. So we, did, we didn't do enough to create. We didn't do enough creation at all. All game, to be honest. It was just one through ball for our goal. Um, but there we go. Probably deserves to lose. They're going to piss the league. And who have we got next? South end at weekend, Will. South Egypt South away. T Egypt, Egypt away. away. Pyramids the, away. The pyramids away. The pyramids away. Safe journey, all many Chesterfield fans. You're going to piss the league, yeah, well, so have some fun on your on your journey yeah, well, to winning the league. And I'll see everyone else again. Safe end, will. Yeah, yeah, we will. Up the deal.